Kenosha County Sheriff now calls Andrew Obregon a murder suspect, not a person of interest. Obregon is still on the loose. Our Michelle Fiore is live with more on this story. Michelle. Well, you know that until now, they've been referring to Andrew Obregon as just a person of interest. But now there's been a big change. The sheriff here tells us he has no doubt Obregon's their man. And he says that as days go by, he fears Obregon may be getting more and more desperate. We believe Andrew is still in the area. We believe that all his connections, all his ties are in that area. That area includes Brighton, Obergon's hometown, as well as Paris, Paddock Lake, Kansasville, Dover, and Union Grove. Sheriff Beth says it's possible Obergon is living outdoors, maybe in a cornfield. So farmers should be on guard. Check your land. Check your fields. Check your roads that run back into the woods. Uh, you know this property better than anyone else does. Obergon is wanted in connection with the murder of 37-year-old Taiwan Anderson. It's believed to be drug-related. The sheriff calls Obergon a crackhead whose financial resources are now drying up. His mother's been arrested for allegedly helping him in his attempt to stay hidden from police. We know that she had met him on two different occasions and gave him money. And his mother remains in custody. With an alleged killer on the loose, it has been an especially anxious time for those who live west of I-94. I know that the Brighton, Paris and Bristol schools are doing soft lockdowns during recess. We have no indication that Andrew Obergon would do anything to harm uh, the kids at school. And coming up at 6, we'll take a look at the two vehicles Obergon's believed to be driving. And while authorities believe that the descriptions of those could be different tonight. We're live in Kenosha. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Yeah, hopefully we can find him. Thank you very much, Michelle.